So why did Clark attack in the first place? Because I was blackmailing him. With what? I found out he used to go by another name. <laughs> Bennett Thompson. How'd you know that Clark used to be Bennett Thompson? So, uh, Langston, is this young man going to be escorting you to the wedding? I'm in. Well, good. Go home. Get into a suit. <sighs> Lang, we, we need to talk. Really? What's there to talk about? I mean, I'm sure that uh, you're just as thrilled as I am that Langston is moving on from that dreadful vile Robert uh, Ford. All right, let's not talk about that, please. OK, but this young man, on the contrary, shows up here, actually comes to the door, mingles with your family, unlike, once again, that vile Robert Ford. You know, it's funny because James is Ford's brother. Clark already tried to kill me once. How do I know that if I blow his cover, he won't try to finish me off? Give me something I can use, or he won't be able to get to you. Did you know Clark is Bennett Thompson before you came to Landview? Hey, come on, man. Help me get this guy off the street. I never met Clark when he was Bennett Thompson. And he never came out and admitted that he went by that name. How'd you know about this other identity? I had an affair with his wife. Oh, thanks, Star. Did you really need to do that? I was just telling the truth. Well, I, I didn't mean to upset you. No, it's perfectly all right if this young man is indeed Robert Ford's brother. Then I ought to know. Now that I look at you, I do see the resemblance. Langston, I need to have a word with you. No, you don't. James is nothing like his brother. James almost got Star killed. Dorian, can I have a word with you, please? All right. Thank you. Okay. Wait, Star. Where are you going? Look, I'll, I'll see you at the wedding. Or not. Is that what you wanted? To make sure that Langston didn't have a date to the wedding? I don't want Langston to get hurt. No worries, Twinkle. I'm not the hurting kind. Don't think you can fool me. You're only going out with this boy so that you can make his brother jealous. It was a few years ago in L.A. I had just gotten out of film school. So you met this woman in L.A.? That's where Clark was living at the time, under the name Thompson. But if you never met him, how do you know that Eli Clark and Bennett Thompson are the same person? Her name was Olivia, and she loved hooking up at their house. There were pictures of her husband in every room, all 20 rooms, actually. So when Clark was in L.A., he had a lot of money? No, the money came from Olivia. The woman was loaded. Are you still in touch with Olivia Thompson by any chance? No, she ended it out of the blue, disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? Well, I called, left messages, tried to track her down, and I couldn't. I even went to their house. <laughs> you scared if Eli answered the door? No, I didn't care about that. But the place was deserted. It was like she vanished off the face of the earth. So how'd you meet Clark's wife? Well, like I said, I was in L.A. Film school. John, I need to... What's he doing here? Police business, not now, Kelly. Uh, you should really see Yes, I need to take a seat. I'll be with you in a moment. You were talking about how you met Clark's wife. Yeah, um, well, one of my film school buddies got me invited to this opening at an art gallery. Olivia was a collector. Gorgeous, sexy as hell. We got to talking about this picture, and before I knew it, we were back at their place, lying on some very high thread count sheets. Did she talk about Clark that night? Yeah, you mean Bennett Thompson? Right, Bennett Thompson. Yeah, she talked about him too much. How great it was when they first met, and then it turned out that all he wanted was her money. 
Well, let me talk to the... So when you met Clark here, you recognized him as the man in the photos in Olivia's house. When was that? When David Vickers decided that he wanted to piece of my internet reality series so we got this lawyer involved the guy introduced himself as elijah clark but i knew him to really be bennett thompson i tried to call him out on it but he denied it and i said i'd go to the da the commissioner that's when i knew he had something to hide i was willing to pay to keep you quiet yeah listen i was really desperate for some cash to get my brother away from our dad. So he decided to blackmail him and almost ended up dead. Yeah. Yeah, and Clark said if I talked, he'd go after my brother, too. Hey there. We weren't formally introduced. I'm Eli Clark. Something the matter? I think you know my brother. Oh, really? Who's your brother? Robert Ford. Oh. Oh, I bet you... Bobby told you I was bad news, didn't he? Matter of fact, he did. You saw what that meant. All right, so I'll be assigned to your brother. Clark won't be able to get to him. I'd feel better if he was behind bars. He would have been. You hadn't lied to us. If you'd come into us sooner... I'm here it... now, okay? And I've told you all I can. But you can't tell us where Olivia Thompson is, can you? I, I told you, I have no idea. She disappeared without a trace. And you didn't think to go to the police then, either. I figured she ran because Thompson found out she'd been cheating, and I didn't want to make things worse for her by going to the cops. Oh, you were trying to protect her. Yeah, and myself, too. Okay, I admit it. But who knew that somewhere down the line, her husband would end up making me look like one of the good guys? I appreciate your protection for my brother. Well, what about the immunity I asked for? What about it? Well, the deal was, if I gave you enough to bring Eli in, that I wouldn't be prosecuted for saying Hannah was the one who attacked me. So, did I give you enough, or what? We'll see. Well, if I didn't, immunity's not gonna matter. Because I'll be dead, and James might be too. I've done everything you told me. I know why I'm not your brother's favorite person. It's because I represent Hannah O'Connor, right? She could have killed him. I know, I know, but she's still entitled to a defense. And legal defense is what I do. I hope you won't hold that against me, too. All right, young man. We have to finish up this conversation. You abducted my niece, and you got her smack in the middle of a shootout. Now, what do you have to say for yourself? Mary Lord, I, the last thing I ever wanted was for Star to get hurt. That notwithstanding, Star's mother and I are agreed you're not to get within shouting distance of another Kramer woman. Is that understood? Not today, not ever. I am so, so sorry that I ever put Star in any kind of danger. But I am not sorry that I got to spend that time with her. Because I got to find out where she comes from. She talks about you guys all the time. I mean, she gave me a crash course in Kramer Women 101. And some of the stories were pretty hysterical. Some of them made me really jealous. Because if I had grown up with a family like she has, well, I didn't, obviously. But for a few days, I got to imagine what it would be like to be surrounded by people who love each other. So if you don't want me taking lengths into the wedding, I understand. But I think I could learn a lot just by being around her. So if you think you could give me another chance, I'd really appreciate it. You got me with jealous of the family. 
If you think that you're going out with this boy just to get Ford back, you're making a big mistake. It will backfire, okay? What the hell is this? Did McBain call you in here? No, I work here now. You what? For Commissioner Buchanan, I'm his assistant. Now, what... What is going on, Bobby? Are you in trouble? Don't pretend you care. Of course I care. Tell me, what... Please. It's too complicated. Did you do something? No, no, it's not about me. They're using me to get information about somebody else. Can I help? I can talk to... No, Commissioner... stay the hell out of it. That's what you can do. You even have a lawyer? I'm supposed to, but the cops are dragging their feet on that one, too. Okay, well, then you can at least let me... Let no, no, the don't do anything. Just stay the hell out of it. Don't make things worse by pretending you care. I mean it. Get out. Just get out of here. We just need to concentrate on keeping you and your brother safe. Don't do anything else you might regret. Make sure the florist understands I want something quite small. Take care of that, thank you. Yes, Mayor Lord. Okay, so what's the verdict? Do we have your blessing or not? Not by a long shot. Dory! Uh, what in the world do you think you're doing? David, when did you get back? Just in time to see you stand in the way of young love. How can you do that on a day like today? Darling, you don't understand. Oh, but I do. I can see now that the scales have dropped from my eyes. You've shown me what can happen when the heart opens up. How can you do this on a day like today? The whole world looks different, don't you think? <laughs> yes, you are so right. So then how can you deny Langston the chance to see what we see, to feel what we feel, to be born on the wings of a dove? Well, not born on the wings of a bird. A baby's too big for that. But to fly like a bird, if that's what fate has in store for Langston, shouldn't she be allowed to find out? Try it again. Okay. But you hurt my daughter. You're a dead man. That's the best you're going to get from her. Yeah, let's go. Thanks. <laughs> 